In the next detailed training video, we're going to go back to project management, but this time we're going to show you how to set up your team. Team building in Work Order is inclusive, meaning I can pick individual people, or I can assign the generic role proficiency combinations that will later be staffed by individuals if the project moves all the way to fruition and you're ready to now pick the people who will carry the project forward. So let's go look at team building and work order and some of the features and functions around that process. Now teams can be pre-established through templates. So if you have a template project and you apply that template to a new project, it'll inherit whatever the team was in the template. But let's just start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And for simplicity, I'm just going to call it team and say save and continue. So now I have a brand new project and I didn't pick a template so I do not have anything pre-established and I did not pick a project manager so I don't expect to see anything in the team slash roles and I don't. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that link uh, or since there's nothing there it's going to be blank so I can click on the little plus now and this brings up a little wizard. You'll get something very similar to this. Now in here you can expand or collapse either the people or the just the generic roles. So here are all the generic roles and I can select the roles that this project will eventually need. Now notice the numbers off to the right. Those are telling me for the current month and every month thereafter for a total of six months how busy is that team or person. So I can have some interesting resource management data at the time of need here. Now if I want to expand the people, I can see all the people as well. And these links will pull up a dashboard of exactly what each person's working on if you need to get deeper and understand more about an individual's availability. Now don't forget you've got these great filters at the top where perhaps you want to come in here and filter across the database on all the project managers, which I've done. And maybe you want to sort and say, oh, this is going to start in two months, so Phyllis is my most available PM in two months. And you can make additional selections here as well. Also, don't forget that you can select columns. So we've got a lot of different columns in here that you can add or remove to help you best find the team that's right for you. When you're satisfied, add it to the team. And there we go. We now have Doug, Allie, and Phyllis, as well as some additional roles that will eventually get staffed. Now these roles that have no assigned name next to it, those are going to go directly to the resource managers homepage and they'll have a way to staff these directly should they wish to. Now if I need to make changes I can either go right back in and add additional roles or team members or I can edit the team or edit the roles. Let's go edit the team real quick. And when I do that, because the forecasting was set as one of the team forecasts, notice how I have some options for start date, end date, and percentage of time or weekly hours. We covered this in depth in the forecasting training. Also notice that it brought in their default roles. So Doug is a project manager and a test coordinator because that's what it says inside Doug's personal profile. Now you might be looking at this and saying, well, for this particular project, I prefer Doug just to be a test coordinator. So I can click, and this will expand the window, give you a little more room to work, and I've just selected the test coordinator. Or I could give Doug a role he's never done before. So you have some control over what each person does on your projects. I can also change the assignment status. Now please note, if you use a template, Everybody comes in as open, meaning it's a soft booking. They're not formally established on this project. And remember that your team member licenses can only see the projects they're assigned to. So if somebody's open or closed, they're not going to have access to it if they just have a team license, unless you change it to assigned. But if I create my own brand new team members on my own brand new project, we just default it to assigned. We assumed you meant to assign them. But that's how the status works within Work Order. Also note this helps control if time can be entered against these projects or not. So be mindful as you set the status. But here I'm done. I've made my changes. I make my selection and I've updated those and that's complete. I can also edit the roles. There's a little less information here. It's really just about forecasting at this point. Okay. 
Now if you've got a role on here that's not assigned to a person and you wish to remove it, you can always right click and delete it or click and delete it from the footer. Okay. Once an individual person has been assigned and is entering time, you can only inactivate them by closing their team assignment. You can no longer just delete them because we don't want to lose the hours and things they've done in the system. So that's a pretty comprehensive view on building a team within a project in WorkOtter.